Hi everybody, I'm Dave Yelovic. I'm the Compliance Officer here at Tilson Homes, and today I want to share with you a, uh, an innovative test. Uh, we talk a lot about testing our houses. Every one of the Tilson Homes that we build are tested toward the end. The energy code says we shall do a blower door test on every home as well as a duct blaster test. We'll cover the duct blaster in a little while, but today we're going to talk about the blower door. Now, it's, uh, it's just like it sounds. Uh, what we're going to do is when the house is basically finished, we uh, hire an independent third party. They come out and they'll set up this uh, interesting thing here in one of the exterior doors. So this is the back door in this house. And what it's going to do is it's going to suck air through this fan and it's going to suck air out of the house. And so the concept is for every cubic foot of air, we call it CFM, cubic feet per minute, that we suck out of the house, one cubic foot of air has to come into the house through the nooks and crannies. So in the Energy Co, they talk about two climate zones. Climate zone two is down south uh, near, uh, let's say, south of Interstate 20, south of Corsicana, down toward Houston. And then north of there is climate zone three in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, in climate zone two, you're allowed five air changes per hour. I'll explain that in just a second. Up north here, you're, uh, in this house that we're in today, near Fort Worth, you're allowed three air changes per hour per code or lower. So as long as you meet those thresholds or lower, you pass the blower door test in the energy code. So imagine, so how do we do that? Well, every house has a volume of air, okay? Cubic feet per minute is what we're gonna measure going out that fan. So imagine, uh, this will be a boring house, but imagine a house that's only 10 feet wide and a hundred feet long. That would be a house with a thousand square feet of space, right? Now let's just imagine that the ceiling is 10 feet tall. So I've got a thousand square feet times 10 feet tall. That's 10,000 cubic feet of volume in that house. So now I go to the door and I stick this fan on it and I suck the air out of that pretend house I just described. If this fan is sucking out a thousand cubic feet of air per minute, that's in an hour, that's 60,000 cubic feet of air being sucked out, or in this 10,000 cubic foot house that we just described, that's six air changes per hour. That would be a failing grade as far as the blower door test in any climate zone, because that's six air changes per hour. The highest the code allows is five, and in this particular house, it's three. So we would have to, do something, but um, imagine then, let's, let's cut the volume in half. If we went to 500 cubic feet per minute, times 60 minutes in an hour, that's 30,000 cubic feet of air being sucked through the fan. That would be three air changes per hour. That would be great. So it's, it's kind of a guessing game as you're building the house, knowing that this happens at the end. But what does this do? This tells us how tight the house is. So people say, well, the house should breathe naturally. Well, that's uh, an old concept from days gone by. In today's modern homes, we want the houses to be as tight as possible. Well, how does that affect you? Imagine uh, it's summer, it's 100 degrees here in Texas, and we want to air condition it. You are paying money to cool that air and keep it in the house. Imagine if 10, 20% of that air was seeping through the nooks and crannies of the house to the outside. Um, or the hot air was creeping its way into the house. Let's go that way. Uh, that wouldn't be good because your air conditioner is gonna run more and not as efficient. So by sealing the house up as tight as possible, the cool air in the summer stays in the house longer than a leaky old house. And then that keeps your energy bill under control. Your air conditioner is not coming on as often as it used to be in older houses. So the blower door test. Looks kind of interesting, this little red thing, but I hope that explains why the idea of a tight house is a good house. And at Tilson Homes, we strive to get well below what the code says. So if you see this red contraption on your house, just know that Tilson is doing a blower door test uh, to give you the tightest house we possibly can. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.